In this video, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Excel to calculate mean and standard deviation. After entering your data sets into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, click on the cell where you want the mean value to be calculated and to appear. You're going to do this by choosing the Enigma button in blue, and here it's at the top of the page. You may find it in the toolbar if you're using a PC version of Excel. Make sure Excel has highlighted the correct set of data for which you want the mean to be calculated, and if not, select and highlight that data yourself. If you have two columns where you want the mean to appear for that column, it is possible to look for the tiny black cross and to drag the formula across, here I'm doing that to the right, in order to have the mean calculated for data set 2. To calculate the standard deviation, you're again going to select the cell in which you want the calculation to appear. You can go up to the Enigma button, but this time you're going to look for other functions, and we're going to try and find standard deviation as an Excel function. So the choice will likely appear to search, and you want to search for STDEV, which is standard deviation in Excel, and when you do find it, select that function. When you do select the function, you want to be careful and make sure that Excel chooses the correct data set and the correct range of numbers. Notice here it actually included the mean. So I'm going to reselect the data set and make sure I'm calculating the standard deviation only of the values that I want. Once again, you can drag the formula so that it calculates the same thing for data set 2 by looking for the small black cross and dragging it across and it will calculate standard deviation for data set 2 also. Now on to calculating standard error, which is effectively an approximation of the standard deviation. Its formula is the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So we're going to start by typing in an equal sign because we're going to need to create the formula. I'm opening my brackets in order to select then the standard deviation. A forward slash indicates divided by, and then I'm going to need to find the square root function under the other functions in the same way that we look for standard deviation. To search for the square root function, it's actually SQRT, and so you can look for that. And when it asks what you want the square root of, and you want the square root of the number of values in your data set or the number of measurements you took. In this case, there were 11 measurements taken, 11 values in my data set. Now at this point, it's important to look at the formula at the top and close all the brackets necessary before pressing enter, otherwise it's going to return an error on that formula. So once you've closed all the brackets, you can press enter and it should give you the value for standard error in the cell that you selected. As with the mean and standard deviation, you can grab it by the small little black cross in the bottom right hand corner, drag across and it will calculate standard error for data set 2 also.